bro. Let us out the floor, bro. No, nah, bro. I'm bro, not let us out the floor. Damn. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Damn. Boy, ain't no way, boy. The most savage popped the balloon ever. And you can find that at the nine minute mark. But I do have a lot of videos to react to. Definitely pay attention to this video. Bro, just let us out the court, bro, this bro. Is And you will see why dating the bad boy goes wrong. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. And if this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. This is the perfect country for passport bros. And here is why. The cost of living is 49% lower than the US. Rent is 80 percent cheaper the crime rate is 16 percent lower and you could live like the top one percent with only two thousand four hundred twenty dollars a month you could grab a ticket right now and be there in literally a few hours more on that in a bit you can live the bachelor dream in style when rent is between 235 to 635 dollars for a one-bedroom apartment in the city center groceries are around 220 to 300 per month utilities 140 fast internet is only 18 and an unlimited cell phone plan is 16. you can easily take your date to a decent restaurant and spend 17 dollars for the both of you or ball out at a luxury meal for just 38. It's easy to stand out when the average Joe here makes only 765 a month. Being a breadwinner while your wife stayed home could not be easier when rent for a three-bedroom house is between 280 to 1070. The average three-bedroom home is around 198 to 273 thousand dollars and you could live like royalty with only 4980 a month. Leave a comment if you've guessed the country. Looking for wifey material? It's a piece of cake when 85 percent believe in traditional values, 64 percent report being happy. The divorce rate is only 1.4 per 1000 marriages and the fertility rate is 1.6. 57% of the population is women and 54% of those are under 25. You don't have to worry about speaking another language because 31% of locals speak English. Ready to pack your bags? All you need is your passport and you can stay visa free for 90 days. Then you could apply for a long stay visa and stay for over a year. And the country is Romania. Sounds like y'all need to head on out there with Andrew Tate in Romania. Seems like that's the spot that you need to be, but do you really want to be there? I want to know why black men make dating so difficult. They make it- Hi, I have an answer, and it's simply because they don't have money. So I've been thinking about this a lot as it relates to my personal dating life. Um, a lot of my friends who are black women who are in their late 20s, early 30s, who have been struggling with dating, who prefer to date black men, and have been doing it in comparison to my- white peers and some peers outside of like other races but specifically my white peers as to why we all went to similar schools um first of all i just want to say whenever a black man does not want to date a black woman or the relationship seems like it's not going anywhere you always turn around and blame it on the fact that he doesn't have money a lot of men don't lead with their wallet in modern day times men are automatically expecting for you to be combative so they don't want to lead with money and still get a headache they're more cautious to their spending we all went to similar schools we all have similar educational backgrounds we all work similar jobs um for bar for bar we would say we would live very similar lives except i just oscillate in primarily black spaces and they oscillate in primarily white spaces um with that said i think it's because white people but specifically white also men are raised in the way that they have generational wealth but a generational wealth mindset meaning that they saw their parents get paired off and married you know within their 20s they have grandma's ring and heirlooms they have a house that they know that they will inherit they have a mindset knowing that even if they um even if they lose their job at Goldman Sachs or in tech or whatever, that they have this sort of privilege that they know that they'll always be fine and they know that they'll always be able to take care of their family. So even though they're in build mode, they're not necessarily worried that they would lose everything. And I think that mindset is different for black men. Your average white guy does not work at Goldman Sachs and trade stocks and have a fund and parents taking care of them. It just doesn't work that way. Do white men maintain jobs? Yes, but it's a lot of white people that are living check to check just as much as blacks. How come black women, when you start doing the comparison between black men and white guys, do automatically go to these stock market guys and investment dudes? You ever seen these guys in real life? None of them are in shape. They're always old and they're always fat and they always have the biggest egos. But you compare that type of man to the average black man that's walking around when that type of white dude doesn't even want you. 
meaning that they spend a lot of their 20s and even in their early 30s really trying to play a game of like financial catch up, really trying to get themselves established. And because they're playing that game, they play games in other areas, meaning that they don't necessarily take things seriously in terms of getting married, having kids, buying a home, starting family, um, because those things require money. And if you don't have it, you're not, they're not necessarily going to, um, I guess, just take those things seriously. And what the white man has over the black man went as far as buying businesses and owning property they learn the game of llc's faster black men learn llc's later in life anybody could get a business name take a small loan out for two or three thousand dollars make payments to that for five months pay it off and then take out a bigger loan for a hundred thousand dollars which is going to allow you to get the house which is going to allow you to buy the big car because when you start buying cars over five thousand pounds then you could write it off so you can understand why a lot of these successful white guys have big houses and drive escalades and own property it's because all they did was take out a business loan that's why they look like they're further ahead but they're also the first ones to claim bankruptcy when black men do learn the money game they're able to put off the same facade as the white guys that you think really got it again I was just really thinking as to like why I'm in my late 20s a lot of my friends are in early 20s early 30s and we're still like dating and on dating apps and so black women understand this you and a black man is having problems because other ethnic groups of women want the black man in a sexual manner but if they get the black man who is also attractive and he has the mindset of the white guy then she's gonna win the only problem is you don't know how to recognize the black dude that got the mindset of the white guy that knows how to get to the money you push him away because you consider him corny your biggest problem is you're trying to find a thug and a businessman all wrapped up in the same body and you can't find that type of guy to fulfill you so these men are going to other ethnic groups where they're just liking him for him that's the problem you're having black women <laughs> This guy is proposing to a widow at her husband's funeral. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That man ain't even all the way in the ground and he already has a man that wants his woman. But it also shows you that something was probably going on behind the scenes before her husband died. Howard. Anne. Are you more interesting than you look? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the mind. I have the beholder, Anne. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. Okay. <laughs> Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. It, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. <laughs> Now you're always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some things, yes. In other things, I like to uh, take my time, if you know what I mean. I've absolutely no idea what you mean. What you mean? <laughs> Somehow, I don't doubt that. <laughs> One thing about a man, he's able to look at a woman and know if other guys are going to want her or not. Trust me, a lot of you feminist women... A lot of men already see you as a problem, so we already know you sad and lonely just based off your attitude. Get selfie, bro. Pull over, bro. Let us out the door, bro. Nah, bro. I'm bro, not the let floor. us out hey, the floor, bro. We're never going to see her, baby. Are you wrong? Just let us out the floor, bro. This bro. is shit. Every girl wants a hood, dude, until it's time to get real. This is a situation where it's getting real, where he's running away, the wife and kids are in the car, he's expecting her to be a rider, die. But when times get hard, one thing that women do is revert back to their natural position. For some shit that I did. Bro, if you pull over and put your hands up, bro, my baby's in the car. I bro, understand. Let us out. Bro, cause you niggas, the thing is, why is the camera on and why are you recording yourself in this situation? This is where social media has taken over people's brains and they're forfeiting their real life for the fake life online, which is harming everyone around them, including themselves. Let us out, bro. Let us out. It's 
over with. Yeah, yeah, that is the hell! That's hell! For some shit that I hate. Oh, that is hell! Don't get mad at Buddha, Daddy! That be no more monkey, baby! I'm not gonna be dead, bro! Yeah, he does look uh, yeah. agitated and it's... This is what happens when you're dealing with them street dudes. A street dude is going to get a medal for going to jail. For a little something like this could be a misdemeanor. But if he was to let you out, exactly what are you going to do? Get in the comments and let me know. What would you do in this situation? Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. 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 They all the same height. They all the same height. Now that's how you give them the drizzle. You walk on set and you don't waste no time asking them who they are. You automatically eliminate them. You see he chose the one that looks more conservative. That's what women are not understanding. The more successful a man becomes and the wiser he becomes, the more conservative he wants his woman to be. All that dressing sexy with your booty and titties out, you're just advertising for other men and men are to the point where they don't want to share you. If you laugh, you going to hell part 92. Yo, this guy right here is mad sketchy. You ain't gotta worry, girl. I won't keep you. You mad ugly. Uh Have a good day. Yeah, you got it. That's how you know a man is mad at his woman when he just ready to slam the door on her. Uh, okay. So we have to have it for the back. Okay, sorry, love. Slowly. What was she expecting to happen after that situation? If I was that cop, I would have slammed her against the ground. It's that simple. You're breaking the law. Okay, can we get you right here? Damn. Respectfully. Yeah, he didn't even get the walk. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, hold on. What's your name? Zay. All right, Zay. How old are you? 26. 26? I ain't gonna lie. Let me ask why they pop their balloons. Let me ask. Let me ask here. Why you pop your balloon? Okay, so you just uh, the height. Uh, no, I like tall, tall. But you, your face, you're not ugly though. I just, it's just the height. Okay, period. Confidence, key. Okay, okay. I like your shoes too. What about you? Why, why you pop it? You like your guys tall, but this man is still taller than you. And then you just keep giving him compliments. It doesn't make sense for you to keep complimenting somebody and dissing them at the same time. Just not my type. Not your type, man. I ain't gonna lie. They being harsh on everybody so far. What about you? No, the height's all right. I'm not I'm not picky about height as long as you're not like a foot shorter than me. It's, that's a little bit crazy. But the fit's not bringing the energy. You're not you didn't really walk in here with the confidence and the energy. If you did, it might have been a different story and I'm going to speak for all the ladies here. It might have been different. Yeah, leave, yeah, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, hold on. I ain't even get hey, to walk. Man. Let, let me let him let him just took two steps in this mom like you know. You know what I'm saying? It's nah, I ain't gonna lie though. You, I don't know why they did that. You look good. Your cut look clean. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy. You only did two steps. Yeah, about two steps. It's all good. That's all right. Look, brother. They don't know what they're missing out on. That's all. Hey, let, talk your stuff. Talk your stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, look. Hey, all right, all right, ladies. Hold on, hold on. All right, brother. Unfortunately, we couldn't find your match. It's all good. It's a bit harsh in here. That, look, they've been popping on everybody. I won't even trip. But unfortunately, we ain't find your match. Thank you for stepping in. <laughs> what does this teach you this teaches you that women are always paying attention to the visuals of a guy literally with a woman you can fake it till you make it hey welcome what's your name my name is alberto Devon. what is that alberto Devon. alberto what do you do uh for myself i paint for your, okay you paint, uh, you're an artist yeah nice okay uh, very cool sure. and now what do you look for in a woman um just loyalty mm -hmm. and more than anything Outside of that, I pretty much can figure out everything else. Okay, okay. Yeah. And do you have like a type or anything like that? Um, the ones that ain't popped the balloons. <laughs> Next. Yeah. 
<laughs> she already popped her balloon. Why don't she just shut up? See, women love vulnerable guys. He's already speaking low and soft, so he's showing insecurity. So that makes women want to pile more on top of him. That's their chance. It's like, ah, oh, I can get him. I can, I can, I can make fun of this guy. I can treat this guy bad, and it makes themselves feel better. That's what you see the light skinned girl doing. My name is Linda, and I pops just by hearing you. Can I tell you got a little attitude? Yes. An attitude? That man is being so chill, speaking so soft. She just needs something to complain about. And this is what's wrong with you B-dubs. Y'all have so many mood swings. You want the world to adjust to how you think. Don't nobody see him having an attitude. A little feisty. Yeah, I'm very confident. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with that. That's cool. But... You're a good guy though. He seems really nice, but I just, yeah. He talked back too much. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, and now, is she your type? Oh, she's beautiful. I love yeah. your eyes. Thank you. All right then. He should have said she's pretty, but her attitude just made her ugly. And that would have been the greatest get back.